Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to apply translations using Angular Internationalization and Localize. So let's create a new Angular project with the ng and command defining the name of the application. Inline styles, skip tests and select the defaults to create a simple schema. Open the project folder. The next step is to install the Angular Localize package to translate text in our application so add ng add angular localize okay navigate to the angular.json file and add in the project name a section called i18n by defining the source locale which by default is in us and another locale for spanish so add s and define the translation field by setting the translation file path it will be source locale messages that s that json we'll use the json format for simplicity scroll down and in the build options section, add a localized property to generate an application per local. Save the angular.json file. Go to the HTML file to create translation tags. So open the add that component.html, remove the sample data and add a new h tag. How to translate tags by adding the i18n attribute to the element welcome to the shop we can add context to the elements how to do that let's add a new h tag with the i18n attribute we can define the meaning of the element and add a pipe character to separate the meaning and a description of the translated element and add a double add sign to create a custom id for the element so we need to define the custom id which in this case will be the title products we can also translate html attribute elements for instance add an input element adding the i18 attribute in this case will be for the placeholder html attribute so define the placeholder search products okay this will translate the placeholder tabs. Angular supports international Unicode expressions such as plural and select. So let's use both in the Angular application. So add a new event when we press enter to filter the products. So call a search method and pass the value of the input value. So define an ID for the input HTML element and pass the value for the search. The idea is to filter products based on the search text so add the method which receives the stream value at an array of products with just three products at a property called filter products which initially will be the products and we will filter the products by using the value passed by parameter so call the filter function and check if the product includes the value that's it so the first icu expression is the plural expression we will validate if the shop has no products one product or many products applying the select expression so add a p tag add in the i18 attribute and then add the plural expression the first parameter is the field which is filter products that length the second one is the ic expression name which is plural and finally the conditions if it's zero we will pass no if one and for other with the menu so at tests outside of the ic expression you have no one or many products the second expression is the select expression so let's add a select html to select agenda male or female so add an ng model to bind the value to a typescript property called gender define the field and import the forms module to use the ng model attribute let's define three options the first option will be for the placeholder with no value select gender at the i18n attribute to translate the tags not two more values male and female at a p tag the idea is to print a particular text based on the selected gender by the user 
So define a bit tag with the i18n attribute for and add the ICU expression. The first parameter is the field, which is gender. The second one is the ICU expression name, which is select and the conditions. If male, we will print men. If it's female, we will print women. Go to the angular.json file and define some options in the strat i18n section under the options section define the output path which will be source local and the format that for this demo is json let's save it it's time to generate the translation files so click the command and run the ng strat dash i18n command to generate the translation file for the source local let's find the local folder and we have the json for the source local duplicate in this json file to add translations for the spanish language change the local name add some translations to verify if the local is correct i've just added some translations okay so go to the angular.json file that has a, the final step so go to the build configurations and add a section for the s local to include the local ID for Spanish at the localized property and pass the S local ID. And on the SERP configuration section, add another build target for Spanish to include in the local ID. So add comma and S and that's it. We're ready to run the application. So clear the console and run ngs, add the configuration file to serve the application with the s local id and open the browser automatically. We see the translations for the HTML elements. We have several products, but print the filter products called filter products and add a pipe, a JSON pipe to print products okay we have various or many products let's filter we have zero products we have various products we have one product and then no products select agenda male it prints a specific text for male and for female so far so good application per locale is running at compile time not at runtime in the upcoming video i'll show you how to switch languages in the ui by deploying the Angular application on Azure. So let's run the application in the source locale by removing the configuration flag, selecting the default locale, which is an as to see the difference. As you can see, we have the English translations, select the gender for male, for women, search products, and that's it.